you want to categorize the templates of your page builder or from other plugins to better manage them with your team and to categorize them. Yes, you really want it. Okay, I show you my newest plugin which can do it. Hi, and my name is David Decker from DeckerWeb. I build plugins for non-coder designers, for non-techies and site builders. And this is my newest creation. It's called Builder Template Categories. And it helps you organize better your templates to filter them and to search them. And I support a lot of page builders already, a lot of teams which bring in templates and lots and lots of plugins, free and premium ones. And this is all built in. If any of these integrations is active on your installation, it will be supported out of the box with this plugin. This plugin is free on WordPress.org in the plugin directory in the repository and I show you what it does. Here I have an um, installation, a local install of WordPress and the Elementor page builder is installed, the free version. And here you see a lot of templates with the Elementor My Templates post type. And here you will see a new thing and these are the template categor categories. This is an internal taxonomy built with uh, default WordPress standard with the things WordPress offers internally. This taxonomy is only internally. It is not public. It is only for you site builders, non-coders to categorize your stuff. So I want to only filter the site builder templates and here you have them. Or you can go that way with the drop down. So I use testing and press filter. So and now I have all the testing templates. Really easy stuff. And of course I can reset to all template categories. So now WordPress has loaded or if none is categorized, none is displayed here. When I press edit, edit the template, I don't show what Elementor does here. I only show the stuff my plugin adds. This is here the default WordPress box for taxonomies, for categories. And these are pre predefined um, categories, but you can delete them or rename them, whatever you want. And I can here check general, uh, save and it will be listed in Elementor My Templates, of course. And here you see it. So if you want to check the bulk actions, you can select a few templates, go bulk actions here in this field. And here you have um, the label edit, add category. Use that, apply, here are your four selected templates and here you can choose also these categories, for example, update. And now here you see I added two more for each of them. It's really easy, it's totally fun. So what can you do with this taxonomy. Here you have an admin link to this special taxonomy from my plugin. And here all terms of this taxonomy are listed. And here uh, is another default thing of WordPress. Each taxonomy can have a description, each taxonomy term. So here you can edit and this allows, allows you for your team members, maybe for your staff members to this, these templates. Here are for our 
client and his next project. So, and you can add a notice for your team members regarding the templates or your workflow or whatever you want. This is this is default stuff from WordPress, but you can just use it for that way. So, and here you are wondering maybe why here are other template instances are listed with different uh, labels, Astro custom templates, and this that means these are integrations of my plugin that are already built in, and these integrations are currently active on this install here. So if I click here, I get to Astra custom layouts. This is a feature of Astra team, the Astra team of the pro add-on, and this is called custom layouts. And these layouts are like templates, they just have the name layouts, and these can now be categorized uh, as well. The same thing as I showed you before with Elementor, and here you have the same thing. Layout categories, the drop-down, the filter, the bulk actions, all is there. And of course you can, you can set your uh, layout category here. And um, the same thing for anywhere Elementor plugin and uh, lots of others. Here you have the same thing, the, the drop-down, the filter, the table listing, and uh, even for pop-up, for pop-ups. There's a plugin pop boxes for Elementor, and the nice thing is uh, my plugin dynamically changes the labeling uh, before you saw it was layout categories or template categories, now it's pop-up categories. So uh, the taxonomy is still the same in the background. It doesn't change, but the labeling does change depending on the template content type, because pop-ups pop are not templates. Uh, these are pop-ups, so it should also be called pop-up categories, of course. So, and now you can use this as well here. And here you have these things. So, remember, the plugin um, has built-in integrations for Elementor, Breezy Page Builder, Oxygen Builder, the WB Bakery the Page Builder, this is the old Visual Composer, Cornerstone, the bold grid post and page builder, and also Gutenberg. And this is what I show you now. Gutenberg is the so-called block editor, and this is what's coming with WordPress 5.0, the new major version of WordPress, and this is the replacement of the existing editor. It doesn't matter if you like that or not. Um, I only want to show you my integration with Gutenberg. And, of course, you don't have to use Gutenberg. You can use the classic editor or disable Gutenberg plugins to disable it, but this is not the topic yet. Here, it, I want to show you blocks. And this is a reusable block. And reusable block is a feature of Gutenberg. And you can... You can make any, you can make any block. This is a test, and I can make this block as a reusable block. Add reusable block. I give a name. A test block for reusage. Save. So, and now this is block is reusable. It's like a global block. I can use this in another page, in another post, or whatever post type supports Gutenberg block editor. And these reusable blocks normally are hidden. They are not visible in WordPress, but they still exist, of course. 
and my plugin brings them to the public, makes them visible. So here you see test block for e usage. This is the thing we just um, saved, and now I can categorize these reusable blocks from Gutenberg. I can just edit and have here the taxonomy. Maybe this is general, I update and all is okay. So here is general, I can, I can use the bulk actions if I want that way and maybe it's front page and landing page also. I update and there, here is it. So, and here you have the drop down with the filtering. It's all there. You can use it in Gutenberg. And this install is a running WordPress uh, 4.9.8 uh, with the Gutenberg plugin. But my plugin already supports the, the real version, the real thing, WordPress uh, 5.0. This is the better tool uh, running here, and it's the same thing. The reusable blocks are visible now. You can edit them. Uh, the, the, you can edit the block, and you can edit the category, the taxonomy from my plugin. And this is a real useful thing because uh, in a short time you will have dozens or even hundreds of reusable blocks and you can categorize them now. This is really handy. But this is only an example of my plugin. As you see, my plugin supports a lot of page builders already. More are coming up soon. Supported teams. Uh, these are teams that bring with their pro extensions uh, library or template-like functionality and my plugin adds a category for this. So it's also Genesis with the Blocks plugin, the Blocks Lite version and the Blocks Pro and all these supported uh, template plugins and pop-up plugins and filter plugins. Also advanced custom fields, the ACF custom field suite has an, uh, it's a similar thing but a smaller plugin, the Metabox builder and a lot of Elementor add-ons, pop-up plugins, all this stuff, and even sp uh, four special Gutenberg plugins. These are plugins that extend Gutenberg, and also with template functionality for Gutenberg, and my plugin adds a category for this. So this is a short overview of this plugin. It's called Builder template categories. It's perfect for site builders and non coders. Just install it. It's for free on WordPress.org from Decker Web. And I really would take your five star review for it. So thanks in advance. I wish you great site building and great success. See you next time.